straight with this guy. Hi everyone, this is Steve Melbourne from ITIC Systems. Just following up on the LinkedIn post that I did around uh, unified calling and recording. Uh, and I'd like to do a demonstration of the system that we've set up uh, in our production environment at ITIC. Uh, what we have for the demonstration is we have a PSTN uh, phone that we'll make the external call from. We have an internal Cisco phone, a Teams client, and a native mobile phone. And the way that it's set up is that when we make an internal call uh, from the PSTN, all of these devices uh, will ring. And then irrespective of which device we answer the call on, uh, we'll have call recording. So when we initiate a call from outside, the first thing the caller will hear is a compliance message. For transcription and note -taking purposes. Once they've got the compliance message, then the system will set up the calls across the three devices. So we've got the Cisco phone ringing, we've got the mobile phone ringing, and we've got the Teams client ringing. So in this case, I'll answer it on the Cisco phone. And once we answer the call, uh, we'll have call recording initiated as well. Uh, for the next demonstration, then we'll do the uh, answer on the Teams client. This call may be recorded. We get our compliance message once again, purposes. and then the call will come through, uh, and we can answer that on the Teams client. Uh, we've answered the call on the Teams client, and it's also being uh, recorded. Uh, and then finally, we'll initiate a call and we will make the call through to uh, be answered on the mobile this phone. Call may be recorded for transcription and note-taking purposes. Now all of this can occur without the, uh, without the app. Um, this is just set up in the back end um, via our integration with Siptrox. Uh, in this case we've, we've answered the call uh, on the mobile phone. Um, and all of this can happen individually, so if you're in the office, you can answer it on your office phone. If you're in the office or at home, you can, office, you can answer it on your Teams client. Um, and if you're out mobile, you can answer it on the mobile device. And every call, irrespective of the device, once again, is, is going to be call recorded. Um, if you do have the app, however, what we can do is also uh, allow transfer between devices. So the app will allow us to switch from the mobile phone um, to the Teams client. Uh, so now the call transfer will go through and we are talking on our external phone um, to our Teams client. Um, if we want to transfer the call between the Teams client and the desk phone, uh, we can also do that through the app. Uh, you can see the transfer is being initiated. Uh, we answer. And we connect, and now the call is between the external call and the Cisco phone. Um, if we want to transfer back to the Teams app, uh, we can do that again. Uh, you can see the Teams app's call, uh, calling at the moment. We answer that. And go on mute. Uh, and now we're calling, well, now we're talking between uh, the Teams client and the external call. Um, so transfers are possible, call recordings always on. Um, once we get the dial plan sorted out, this will actually allow us uh, to initiate transfers from the Cisco phone um, to the Microsoft Teams client as well without uh, requiring the app. Uh, but it's very good progress and I'm very happy with what the teams uh, provided up until this point and very excited about uh, this moving forward. Uh, thank you for watching.